sponsored by Executive Homes. We were keeping a close watch on that system, and in fact, it started firing up in our area about this time yesterday. Now it's well out of our area, and thankfully, uh, we had a few severe thunderstorm warnings, but only one tornado warning and still waiting on confirmation with that. Showers continue to push out of the area. We are seeing some showers firing up as they're making their way closer to our area, though they're breaking apart. So don't worry, we're not tracking any rainfall for today. We will continue with drier conditions. 24 hour rainfall total here in Tulsa. You can see we had a little bit of blue shading, so that's indicating roughly about a right around an inch. Anything in that green is indicating about an inch and a half to two and where you're seeing that yellow and even some orange shading. That's indicating where the heaviest pockets remained and that's why we're keeping a close watch on these lake levels. It's Memorial Weekend coming in and a lot of you are getting out to the lake Saturday. Uh, winds are looking nice and even into Sunday, so we're going to keep those north winds uh, in play as we look at those lake levels getting a little over four feet, close to four feet over uh, Ulaga. So right now they have seen an increase with that rainfall, but nothing that is alarming. So it's going to be a pleasant weekend to get out and enjoy if you can. Here's a live look. Use our South Tulsa camera. Sun is finally returned. In fact, we'll take it looking out at downtown. You can see almost little cotton ball clouds out there right now. It's a beautiful day. We're seeing almost a picture perfect 68 degrees here for Tulsa. North winds right at around 11 miles per hour and the big store are those dew points as well. 53. That's why it's feeling so comfortable out there yesterday. Different story. We were tracking dew points in those 70s, so it's feeling sticky. We were feeling muggy out there, more of the air that you wear, and it was not feeling pleasant today. It's a different story. 67 down in Stigler, 66 at this hour in Poto. We'll continue with those dew points holding steady in those 50s, maybe some lower 60s, so we're not seeing any humidity creeping into the forecast for today. So it's going to be overall very pleasant and enjoyable. Anything outdoors 72 getting about 73. We're going to keep those temperatures in those lower 70s across the board uh, with some highs potentially pushing into those mid to upper 70s. But again, you're seeing those upper 70s. We're not keeping that humidity around, so it's not going to feel uh, like it's going to be hotter than what you're seeing on there. So all in all, a very pleasant day. If you're going to get out and about, grass is now in that higher category. Bold is also remaining in that high category. So if you're having some allergy issues, you can blame it on the grass and the mold right now with those levels on the rise. Mostly clear, comfortable, calm and clear. Love these adjectives. We'll keep those uh, sun cloud mix around for the afternoon, but we'll get that clearing through the overnight hours. And with that, Temperatures will fall quite a bit. We're looking at lower 50s, even some mid 40s. Coffeeville over into Bartlesville. So maybe tonight you could give that AC a break as we're heading into the overnight uh, for the uh, for the end of May. We're also keeping a close watch for your Saturday. This is hands down my pick of the entire planner. Temperatures will remain in those 70s, similar to what we're having today. North winds are remaining very calm for tomorrow. Today we have them about 10 to 15. Tomorrow look for 5 to 10 miles per hour. And yes, we'll see even more sunshine. I'm loving this. Keep those sunglasses handy, not only for today, but into Sunday. We do have a system arriving for the second half of your Sunday with increasing chances for showers and a few thunderstorms on Memorial Day. The better chance, though, looking for Tuesday. Look at all those 70s. Looking nice, Brady. All right, a great looking forecast there.